Hey guys, Gabriel with Chrome Unboxed, and today we're talking upgrades. Uh, a few weeks ago, we talked about all the new Chrome boxes on the market, and the ASUS Chromebox 3 is by far the easiest to upgrade. So today, we're going to take a look inside and see what it takes to put some extra RAM in this bad boy. Before we get into this, this video is brought to you by NordVPN. It's the VPN of choice for millions for staying safe while browsing at home or while you're out. Uh, you can use it across any platform and it's great for Chromebooks and any other device. If you'd like to learn more, go to chromeunbox.com forward slash NordVPN. All right guys, so right here we have the ASUS Chromebox 3. This is the Celeron model. Uh, the port selection's a little different around the outside as opposed to the other ones, but on the inside, they're all practically the same. So you can do this with any, any late generation, just about any Chromebox at all, really. Before you get started, you're gonna need some tools, the right tool for the right job, right? So you can pick up one of these all-in-one PC tool kits on Amazon for like, I think I got this one for like $18. We have a few of them in our shop and we'll drop a link below, but you've got all your key all your uh, bits and everything you need your plastic pry tools all the other things that you need and it comes with this this is a grounding strap uh, anyone who works on pcs will tell you that you need to use one of these i can honestly say i've never used one but i have borked a device too so i do recommend that you use it for demonstration purposes during this video i'm not going to uh, you simply put the grounding strap around your wrist and then you will clamp this to the end of the power cable where there's exposed metal or the chassis of the device. But anyways, moving on. So we're gonna flip this over and you'll see four feet on the bottom. The first time you take these off, it is going to feel like they are concreted. Don't worry, it's just some really strong double-sided tape. Once you take them off the first time, they generally come off fairly easily. You just gotta get under it, pop them right off. Once you have them off, You'll see there are four screws exposed on the bottom. And for this, I'm using a 2.5 Phillips head that came in this kit. And you're gonna take these screws out. Um, you can always have one of those nice little mats that you can work on and it has a place for all of your screws and your bits and everything so you don't lose them. I'm just gonna cross my fingers and hope we don't knock any of this stuff in the floor. But again, the Asus is the easiest to take apart out of all of them. Uh, I've taken the Acer and the HP apart. The Acer is a absolute pain. The Asus has four screws. Flip it over, give it a little jiggle, and the bottom will come right off. It's attached by the power port. That is a four prong. You can just pull it off, set it aside, and there you go. You have the insides, you have two RAM slots, the SD card, the wireless card, and now we're gonna take this out. Two pins on the side, slide it right out. Uh, these come with a four gig DDR4. You can put DDR3 in these if you want, but you can pick these up pretty cheap. I actually found this exact one on Newegg for about $22. We'll drop a link below if you wanna grab one. So you can upgrade this to eight gigs of RAM for $22. Uh, you can go all the way up to 16. Some people have done 32. It technically supports it, but I think 16 is pretty good amount of RAM for this type of device. So you're just going to take your RAM. These are gonna be 260 pin. You can see the slot right in the middle lines up with this. You're gonna slide the new slot in, press it down until it clicks, and you're good to go. Now, if you did wanna upgrade the hard drive, cause this one comes with 32 gigs, it's similar. You have one screw that holds it down. You're gonna take this screw out. Don't stab the board. It's gonna pop up. Let's slide this out. the secondary screw out that's going to pop right up and slides right out and you can replace it with another m.2 uh, we have seen people have actually put nvme in this you just need to make sure you're getting the right size and that it'll go in there but other than that that's a really really easy upgrade to a device for really little amount of money all right so you, you get your new hard drive you're going to slide it right back in press it down put your screw back in Side note, this is how I borked the Acer Chromebox that I have. I'm pretty sure I grounded something when I was putting the hard drive back in. But anyways, 
So firmly, but not too tight, seat that screw back in. Now you're gonna put your wireless card back in the same way. Hand tight your screw. Then you're going to take your power supply and reconnect it. Line up your ports back down. Put your four screws back in. Uh, your feet might have lost their adhesion. You might need to put a little double-sided tape on there or you can just leave them off if you don't care about the rubber feet. And then once your screws are back in, you have a freshly upgraded Asus Chromebox 3. Guys, this is a really easy way to turn a device into something a little bit better for a little, little amount of money. Uh, we actually have this device available on our shop for $215. Uh, new stick of RAM and maybe a hard drive. You've got $270, $280 invested in a device that's gonna last you five, six years and it will do just about anything that you need. So guys, we hope you liked the video. Uh, subscribe, click the thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to click that notification bell because we're gonna be doing some more teardowns in the future on some devices that aren't quite as easy as this. But let us know what you think and if there's something you'd like to see, drop a comment below, we'd love to check it out. Until next time.